Hi, my name is John Whitehead and welcome to this week's video blog post. We're now into the third week of the COVID-19 self-isolation, uh, self-quarantine process that many uh, people are going through because they've had to travel. If they've traveled to another country and come back, they're having to self-quarantine. Um, even among here, you know, in some of the U.S. and the states, they're asking people if they've moved from one state to another state to self-isolate. Or even communities in Canada, we have seen even communities, especially in in uh, tourist areas or remote areas, people being asked not to travel there, or if they are traveling, then to self-isolate as well. Um, and last week, uh, I talked about the dip, you know, the big uh, big bugaboo for me in all this was the term social distancing. And it's not so about social distancing, it's actually about physical distancing. And I've been really pleased to see more and more people start using the idea of physical distancing rather than social distancing, because we need that social contact. Which actually led me to a conversation, um, well, a virtual conversation that I had with uh, somebody who I know, who reached out to me and said that, a number of his clients, this individual is an HR professional, a number of his clients were reaching out to him and saying, how do they deal with the stress that's going on in the workplace? How do they deal with dealing with employees um, where we're unsure what's going to be happening in the workplace? Maybe some of them are being having to be laid off because of uh, the downturn in, in business. And what I said to him was, I'm not an expert in the psychology here, but from what a lot of what I've been reading about on social media and in uh, some of the journals that I've been reading is that what we do need to be doing is we need to be communicating clearly, communicating often, and communicating with transparency. We want to be as open as we possibly can, and we want to be having those regular conversations. One of my mantras in communication is to repeat and repeat and repeat and then repeat again. Because as many of you who know, who have watched my videos or read my blogs know that one of my areas is on interpersonal communication skills and that each of us have different ways in which we take communication in. And so some, for some people, they'll get it right away. Other people, they need that repeat, the repeating. They need the assurance. Um, on reassurance. Some people don't get the message right away. And if we're consistently repeating it, people will get the message. And there's also a certain level, I think, of comfort in that repeated message if that message is the same, consistent, and again, transparent. I was reading um, an article uh, today, actually, about, uh, it was a commentary about transparency and how in one of our provincial governments, after the SARS epidemic went through, in the debrief or the, the uh, post-mortem of it, said that the government could have been more transparent. And they um, looked at what was happening in my own province, which is British Columbia, and our uh, head of public health, Dr. Uh, Bonnie Henry, and our Minister of Finance, Adrian Dix, and how they, what a great job they're doing in terms of communicating on a daily basis and being very clear and uh, itemizing things and being very and being transparent, showing transparency and showing that uh, coming across as caring, which is what we need to be doing to our downstream. We that's what we can control. That's all we can control in this situation is the communication that we're giving as leaders to our people. I hope that's helpful. And again, if you'd like to reach out to me at all, feel free to do that. If you've got any comments or suggestions, please add that to the bottom of this video. And uh, God willing, we'll talk to you again next week. Thanks a lot. Have a great week.